everyone I've got an unboxing for you today and who I have got is Monster High Trees of Thorn Willow shows you here that she uh, can stand in her tree stump and sort of grow taller I think and she has some um, like branches coming out of her arms for things to hang on and you can get other dolls in the series so let's have a look on the back so here's the thing on the back trees are in the middle here and you can see that hanging from her branches are these little moths and cobwebs and things and you can get Beatrice who I have Lumina I don't have I do have Twyla I do have Torrelai, I don't have Cleo and I don't have Wingrid but I'm very happy to have the ones that I do have shows you at the bottom here that you can have a like this and then if you twist twist them there must be some button on her back out come these green parts so she has them down there like that on this picture and you twist the button on her back and they all fan out around her and you can hang the little bugs and butterflies on them so we'll have a go at that when we get her out yeah I actually had her for quite a while and she is the daughter of a tree nymph apparently it says I had a teenaged growth spurt and my powers came in and now I've accidentally showered some ghouls with my mystical pollen causing them to sprout wings yeah very good so let's have a look you can see in the box here she has her extra little bits there's like a butterfly there and I'm not sure what that bit is there that pink thing it's got the Monster High logo in the middle. Looks like a flower with a Monster High logo in the middle. Then this uh, similar one down there that's blue. There's another moth thing at the top here. And a cobweb here a bit further down. And then there's a little cardboard cut out there. That one's Beatrice. I do have Beatrice. I'll find her out and show you yeah so let's take her out and have a look she's she's bigger than the average monster high doll but not as big as Goliope and the monstrously tall girl she's not as tall as those but she's bigger than the average monster high so let's get her out and have a look here she is out of her box let's have a closer look at her I bought along Twyla and Beatrice as well but Beatrice Beatrice can't stand up on her own she keeps falling over on the soft black Halloween carpeting that I've got so here she is she comes like standing in a tree stump if you like and you can open this up and take her out so the tree stump does sort of lock lock closed and you can see it looks like a ghoulish face there when it's open when it's closed and you can open it up and you can take Teresa out of this stand I'm not going to take her out though but if you turn around on the back you can see that all her little leaves are all folded away at the back there and if you turn this lever they open out you can see that they're opening out there and come up around her there she is I actually think she's got taller as well like you can see that she's got a little bit there that goes up and down so she's got taller and her green branches or wings have come out and then she's got all of these little creatures these are lovely I like these and they've oh, they all come with little hooks on them let's have a closer look at them hold on this one's still got some elastic on it. it's annoying me let's get the elastic off so we've got this orange moth type creature and they come with a, their little green hook so you can hook them wherever you want to on Teresa's fronds we'll hook that one on there Ooh, it's on there moth then we've got this one I think that's a flower it's got petals and then it's got the skelet in the middle there and again the little hook on the top so I'm going to hook that one over here uh, pop that one on there I think 
Then we've got another little moth type creature. Can you see the little eyes on it? They're quite well detailed. This one's like a, if you look closely, you can see there's like a little girl shape in there like with a dress on and there's her, she's got four hands and her feet come down to the bottom there. And she also has the little hook on the top. So we'll hook that one further up here. Then the same with this one. She looks like another four winged girl with feet look and she's got some little antenna on top of her head and again the green hook so we'll hook her further down here she says confidently not hooking anything at all there we go and then there's two more so we've got a spider web here with a little hook on the top. We're going to hang that on that bottom one there because I'm going to close up her mouthpiece. I just wanted to show you her fantastic shoes there. They're lovely, aren't they? So I'm going to close up that stand a bit at the bottom there so that we can see the little things hanging at the bottom. And then there's this one which is looks like another little flower one. Yeah, it looks like there's something in the middle there, but no, I think it is just a flower. Has it got a, yeah, it's got the skelet on the other side, look. So let's hang that one. Hmm, where can we hang that one? We'll hang that one uh, over here somewhere, I think. Just there. There we are. So she looks quite fancy, doesn't she, with all her bits on. And yeah, I do like the fact that she gets taller. You can see she has in some earrings that look like little bugs, you see there. They look like little flies, I think. Her hair is really bright with green streaks in it, really bright Barbie pink with green streaks in it. And this bit looks like a little owl house, doesn't it? A little bird house, got an owl on it and a little like button on the top there. She's got twigs coming up around her head there, which is quite a nice detail. Her skirt and top have little bugs crawling all over them like spiders and ants and ladybirds and when she gets shorter this part covers up the top part of her skirt and when it comes up it just looks like a dress doesn't it and then we have the little bits that come with her so at the bottom here she's got these little holders and a think that they are for the smaller dolls so I think that Beatrice can fit in one of them and then I think the other small doll would fit in the other one so they're like little holders for the smaller dolls aren't they eventually I did get Beatrice onto onto her little holder that's ideal for a look she does fit on I've had to I elasticed this little um, honey pot to the bottom of her feet because she can't stand on her own. But with this little honey pot, she can stand up on a flat surface. So I elasticated it round her legs. But now she's in this stand, she doesn't need it, does she? Yeah, I'll have to see if I can get the one that goes on the other side, won't I? I think I'm only missing two from the set. Let's have a look. So I need Lumina, Wingrid and Cleo. So I'm missing three from the set. Lumina, Wingrid and Cleo. But I should like to get Lumina or Wingrid to fit on this little thing the other side. On the second little holder. So here she is in her full glory. It looks, that's a really good idea and I like that. And she'd make a fantastic display just on her own, wouldn't she? And I suppose too, you could clip the little things onto here, like the little, the spider webs would clip onto there as well. Like you can clip them onto her arm branches instead of just onto the, onto the other ones. The only trouble is she's going to take up an awful lot of room on my shelf, isn't she? Uh, never mind, we'll let her off. Yeah, so... That was Teresa, and then, like I say, another doll I do have from that line, I do have Torelai, but she's not unboxed yet. I'll have to do an unboxing of her soon. And I've already done an unboxing on 
garden ghoul twyla she's got the most fantastic wings look at these wings they're really beautiful really intricate and they're hard plastic they're not you know they're not flimsy they are really nice and you can see she's got like little bugs and things on there and she's got her little dress on and she's got her lovely hair look at that color of that hair it's beautiful yeah so that's so far that's what i've got on whoops <laughs> trees just fell over again <sighs> that's what i've got unboxed of my garden ghoul monster high set so i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now